Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, time to finish up the construct factory. Yeah, and we're gonna go find the secret stone. Yeah. Beat this boss. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Making our way downtown. Walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. homebound. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if you're supposed to go through there. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Looks like it's kind of far. Yeah. Why is the gate shut? <laughs> oh, this is the left leg depot. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it might be faster to just run. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't remember if it's like up there or where. If you head that way, I mean, you'll eventually get to it because yeah. it is in that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Minoru's construct body is pretty cool, but um, it's a little slow. Yeah. It's like the one thing. If you attach a fan to the back and possibly a rocket, I actually don't know if we've ever tried attaching a rocket to the back, but um, if you attach a fan, it'll like walk faster if you're using the fan. Mm -hmm. But then it depletes the battery faster, and at that point, you're just kind of like, well, why don't I just run? Right. <laughs> The stamina replenishes faster. Yeah, it's mostly beneficial for, like, getting across Gloom. Mm -hmm. And for, like, this boss fight. It can, like... I, I don't think it deals a ton of damage when it hits things, but it, like, sends them kind of flying a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, because it, like, wails on them. Mm -hmm. Also, we haven't tried attaching every single thing that you can to the construct, so, you know, there might be, like, a way to make it super strong or something like that. We just have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, we've kind of just been limited to, like, the things that you saw at that one place at the end of the last episode. Like, the beam emitter, flame emitter, some of the other stuff. Mm-hmm. Ooh, light room. Nice. Do you want a bright bloom just so you're not navigating the dark darkness? Yeah. Ultra darkness. Oh. Oh, those are those little weak guys. They like it. I don't know if they're going to try to eat it or what. <laughs> That'd be wild if they did. <laughs> yeah, I think the light route's like just past them. <laughs> the cliff. I don't know if you want to go for it or not, though. Yeah, I, I don't like know how far down. And how high up the, uh, the yellow dot is. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It might be that over there. That might just be a grandpa. Yeah, yeah I think that's what that is. Grandpa! <laughs> Instead of Grandpa. Uh, I would be freaking out if I was this high up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All that's below is darkness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it probably is down there. Yeah, I'd say I'm maybe go, go for the light route. Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? You just gotta climb for like two more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Waste everyone's time. <laughs> Just spend this whole video <laughs> looking for the boss. I've got places to be! <laughs> <laughs> I've got deadlines. Yeah. i got alive lines. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Hinox. What happens if you give a deadline to your lifeline? <laughs> they just are like, ah, I, ah, ah. <laughs> system error. Right. I like how he's just like standing there waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Jerk. It's almost like he exists to fight. <laughs> What? Shin guards! <laughs> At least have feet guards. Yeah, freaking. I hate their shin guards. Yeah. You know, we didn't play it for too long, but we used to play like soccer in elementary school. One of my least favorite things was taking off those shin guards afterwards. Yeah, and super long socks. Yeah, they're like. The shin guards are like stuck to your leg from all the sweat. Yeah. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice. I didn't know that they gave you crystallized charges. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Soccer is a fun sport, though. Yeah. And yeah, it's the most popular sport in the world. Yeah, because it's like the simplest sport. Mm -hmm. Why yeah, are you making those weird noises, Miniru? Getting ready <laughs> <laughs> to attack. Yeah, and I meant that whole thing about soccer being simple, like, as a good thing, because, yeah, like... It, not simple-minded. Yeah, <laughs> like, the reason everyone in the world plays it is because everyone can understand it. There aren't, like, 25 rules that you have to explain in a different language to, you know, every different language, of, you know. It, it, it's very simple. Kick the ball from one side of the field to the other. Don't touch it with your hands. You know, only the go goalie can touch it with their hands. Here's how you get a foul, you know. Mm-hmm. Link, we're close now to the secret stone. Draw forth the hidden power in this construct and press onward. I don't have to. You already have weapons. Yeah. You want to break them? Or em? did you lose them? Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's like a cannon. Is that uh, a cannon? That is a cannon, yeah. It'd be cool if we could attach it to Minoru's forehead or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. It won't let you like do it. Um, I didn't try just yet. Which uh, body part do you think I should try for using? Probably like the right hand, maybe, or maybe the back. Oh, it does work. Okay. Nice. Wait, yeah, no, maybe. I don't know. Try holding R and see how fast it fires. <laughs> Yeah, that could work, but... Okay, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Go for it. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. The spike ball on the back is a little weird. Yeah. That's normally in one of the fists. Mm -hmm. Or do you think I should put the cannon on the back and put the spike ball on the fist? You or? can, you can if you want to, but it's like... Sorry, our cat's in the way. Um, you can if you want, but uh, it's a little hard to aim with it that way. Yeah. Mm, maybe I'll just put it on the. Button. Sure. <laughs> Two and spikes. An, and an extra cannon on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Why are there so many rocks? You know, Bo. Go. <laughs> Terraforming. <laughs> Yeah, there's probably a bunch of random treasure in all these rocks. Mm hmm. Or Zonite or something. Yeah, both of our cats were resting, but then Freya saw that Coco was in her vicinity and she got annoyed. Mm hmm. I don't know why she hates Coco so much. Yeah, she's a hateful creature. Yeah, she's just filled with loathing energy. Yeah, we used to have a couple of other cats, and she terrorized one of them <laughs> so badly that she, like, lost a bunch of weight and mm. was, like,. Yeah. In bad shape. Yeah. Our cat Maria, she um she was like our mom's lap cat and then like when Freya showed up, like they both looked really similar and like they were both kind of lap cats and so when Freya saw it like, oh there's like more than just me and Coco, I think she felt like threatened and became like a boss cat where mm -hmm. she's like just being terrible all the time. I think she used to sneeze or something, so if yeah. you hear weird sounds in the background, that's what our cat's doing. <laughs> yeah, and like she knows we're talking about her. Her ears are like pointed backwards, but she's not looking at us. She does that all the time. Yeah. She's the sass master. She really is. <laughs> yeah, like, she'll be sitting next to the window. Um, You know, we live in a basement. There's just one window, so, like, there isn't a ton of sunlight down here. But, like, you know, cats love to sit in the sunlight. And so they'll, like, you know, get on the hockey table at different intervals. And um, a couple days ago, Freya was in the sun, and then Coco hopped up. Freya starts hissing and stuff, but then they both just laid down, like, you know, kind of close to each other and dealt with it. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, Coco was up there first. And then Freya hops up and starts hissing at Coco. And I'm like, bitch, she was there first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shut up. <laughs> and, like, Coco never hisses back. She just, like, squints at Freya. And she's like, what? Mm -hmm. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Which is, like, the kind of energy I try to have when people try to fight or argue with me. It's like, why? Yeah. Like, I, whatever. I'm not fighting with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you can be mad if you want. 
And Coco really doesn't do much to, like, antagonize her. They'll try and wrestle like cats do, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Freya, I think, maybe takes it too seriously sometimes. Minoru, where are where you? Where frick did she go? <laughs> Is she out there? Do you have to, like, ride her in? Minoru. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Where did she go? <laughs> hey, what the hell? Like, I need her for this. Yeah. Um, um, this is really weird. <laughs> hopefully she'll just, like, come falling out of the sky like everyone else does. Yeah, that's... Very bizarre that she didn't. Maybe she can't get across. We need to build a bridge or something. Maybe. You can't examine that thing or hit it or anything. Yeah. What the frick? <laughs> yeah, I bet she's down the stairs. Frickin' bum. <laughs> Where the frick is she? Yeah, what the hell? This is very bizarre. Is she over there? Where's the last place? Oh yeah, there she is. That freaking dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, our cat's using the box, and so in just a second I'm gonna take care of her before she starts scratching the metal pole, making a ringing sound. Mm -hmm. Cause she's a menace. Yeah, I think Freya's just like, she's one of those creatures that knows that she can get negative attention by being bad, and she also is like, attention is attention. Mm -hmm. So she'll like, get us to fuss at her, because she knows that like, oh yeah, they're talking to me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is not cool, because we like, hang out with our cats and cuddle them and play with them all the time. I'm yeah. like, could you just behave, like, what the please? Hell else do you want from us? Uh, I'm gonna go take care of her real quick. <laughs> Freya, stop! Don't do it! Don't do it! How do you get across? Yeah, I don't even know. Is there a rocket? There's a couple rockets down here. Oh yeah, we flew when we did it in our file. We like attached it to the back and then we like flew up. Yeah, we get it, Minoru. Here's more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Link, that's the spirit temple, but this construct cannot climb a sheer face cliff. Or sheer cliff face. <laughs> face cliff. However, blah blah. Go, Link, we're drawing closer. <laughs> and maybe just go, like, right to the side of it. Mm -hmm. Come on, Minoru. A little faster, buddy! <laughs> Cool. <laughs> cool. And that's how it's done. Now I have nothing for my back. Mm -hmm. There's stuff that's gonna be in here, though, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Secret stone, reveal yourself. Uh oh. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> the deep depths. There it is. <laughs> What a cursed existence, though, being a spirit without a body tethered to this mortal realm. Right. But I think she, like, did it to herself. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'll stick by. I don't need a body. I'm the spirit sage. I just need my spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> Get ready to rumble! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time to wrestle with Jimmy. Yep. 
<laughs> Wrestling <laughs> Jimmy. I forgot about that shit. <laughs> yeah, we saw that uh, the Game Grumps were talking about that in one of their episodes, and we looked it up, and it was great. Yeah, it's just Weezer. Um, I forget what the song. Oh, it's it's Sadie. So, so yeah, yeah, but they um, there's a lyric called "Wrestle with Jimmy," and, and it's just them saying "Wrestle with Jimmy" to the entirety of that song. Yeah. He's like, wrestle with Jimmy, wrestle with Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid. Mm -hmm. What the frick? Why didn't he go flying? Oh yeah, it can't be during his attack animation. It has to be like, yeah, so you gotta block, and then you can pop. Oh yeah, freaking cannon. Yeah, I, I would do, yeah. Yeah, so when he's lifting it to attack, you just gotta defend. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. I was gonna say, I would wait. <laughs> just because you already recovered four with that one. Mm -hmm. Bop! <laughs> Hit him again! Left! Go fly! This thing is quite sturdy. We keep knocking it over, but that is all. Hit the barbed wire! <laughs> there you go. Maybe we can make use of the device Oh yeah, now he's gonna start attacking. Mm -hmm. Can you cannon him? Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait just a second. I don't think he's gonna stop. Sweet. Nice. Quick, Minoru, faster! <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> and it looks like you gotta do it like four or five more times. Mm -hmm. Electric. Oh, ah, God. shit. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah, this cannon's helping out a lot. Mm -hmm. Sweet. <laughs> Go again, cannon! <laughs> oh, no more spike ball, but I think the arms is, are just fine. You do, like, all of the damage by hitting him into the barbed wire. Yeah. Yeah. So you basically just have to back him into a corner. Yep. And get him to hit you. And then just wail on him. Mm -hmm. Phase two. Now I think he's gonna be like flying or something. Yeah, something weird. I can't remember. Or it has like extra arms. Yeah. Brought out more arms. Be careful. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> it's just that easy. Yeah, this cannon really was uh, the way Good to go. Idea, yeah. <laughs> and then just charge it up again. Oh, he dropped all of his shit. Uh, shit. <laughs> the weirdest thing about this construct is using the shoulder buttons to uh, attack. It feels a little weird. Mm -hmm. Nice try. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> and the newest heavyweight Zonai robot champion is Minoru. <laughs> oh, I like hit his feet that time. Too. Such an easy boss. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Done! Goodbye. I don't even remember its name because I was doing the whole life here ready to rumble! Blah blah blah. I think it's supposed to be another construct that Minoru built. Yeah, but she's it's like possessed by the gloom. Yeah, she was like, I built this one a long ass time ago. <laughs> Kaboom! Yeah. What a beautiful explosion. <laughs> Oh, 
Park container. Oh yeah, no, we were talking about wrestling with Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I forget the name. <laughs> we'll just call him Jimmy. <laughs> that's a good name. Minoru and Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah. And then after <laughs> this, the only main story thing we have left to do is go uh, find Ganon. Mm -hmm. um, but we were probably going to do some side questy stuff for a few episodes. But yeah. this will probably, the whole series will probably be wrapped up in like a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then what will we do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I forgot to mention one of the reasons why I thought that uh, Wrestle with Jimmy song was like so funny is because our dad's name is Jimmy mm -hmm. and he's like one of the most serious people I know. Yeah, like <laughs> like seeing him crack a smile is like a Very rarity. Yeah, yeah, like when like when you walk in the room and he says hey, it's like like a like, almost stern look. Like yeah. you're, you're kind of like what did I do? <laughs> like hey, like mm -hmm. just hi, how's it going? Right. <laughs> Wrestle with <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Like, I can just imagine hearing that song and seeing my dad with, like, the biggest scowl on his face. <laughs> <laughs> like that Squidward scowl. Does this look unsure to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's not like... I don't know. Like, he, I think he's just overly serious. Like, yeah. he, he takes his life very seriously. Mm -hmm. And, like, just trying to joke around with him and stuff like that is just kind of like a gamble because sometimes you, you can't gauge his mood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not, like, a bad guy or anything like that. It's just, yeah. you know, I think he yeah, just thinks of life as being Zelda super serious all the time. You, mm -hmm. I am the Sage of Spirit. And one of the Zonai. She looks really tired. She does. I mean, if your I'm soul couldn't tired. rest, wouldn't you be tired? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I must thank you. It is because of you that we have recovered my secret stone. Originally, my intent was to awaken when you first found the Poropad. Then to guide you to my the construct poor pad. <laughs> and assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. You have proven quite adept, and I am grateful for all your efforts. Link, here. Touch my hand and let me show you the power of the imprisoning war. <laughs> In the name of Minoru, Sage of Spirit, I grant my power unto you. I believe it will serve you well. Middle finger. <laughs> For fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much Minori's whole uh, personality. <laughs> and from this point forward, my spirit will reside within that construct. I will help you however I can. Yeah, and I love all the avatars and constructs. It just sucks that the performance dips a bit when all of them are on the screen at once. Because yeah. it's like having five dudes running around, and especially when you're up against like a horde of enemies. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm the one who lived in the distant past, in the age of Hyrule's founding. Circumstances forced me to forsake my body and become a being of pure spirit. Long have I slumbered within Zelda's Puripad, Puripad <laughs> in order to share what I knew when it passed into your hands. I apologize that our meeting has been so long delayed. The Demon King's interference is to blame. Nevertheless, I ask your pardon. Well, now, on to the topic at hand. In my own age, the distant past, from your perspective, Zelda awakened as the Sage of Time and appeared before us. What I must relate to you is a tragedy that occurred in Hyrule's history. It is the Imprisoning War. <laughs> at its crux was Zelda, who held a secret stone and traversed time. She made a, mem a momentous decision in those days gone by. I would have you know of the resolve she poured into that blade, the Master Sword. Yeah, girl, we already saw. She was like... 
My people, no one she wanted to so imbue it with light mm -hmm. so that I'm become a dragon. Of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods. Secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Ravu became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonia, and they would wed. Raru gifted Sonia one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Raru and Sonia as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. However, tragedy suddenly struck. A man of great evil emerged from the desert. The leader of the Gerudo, Ganondorf, killed Queen Sonia and stole her secret stone. That artwork makes the bridge of his nose Using look like it goes stone. all the way up to his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> Like, Let me blow my nose, holds a freaking tissue up to his forehead. Yeah. Oops, got some snot in my eyes. <laughs> face these threats, but the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. No way. <laughs> in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Whoa. Raru and the sages outnumbered the Demon King and should have been able to stop him. However. The Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Our fight had appeared all but lost. And then, Rahu. Oh, this might be one of the last scenes mm -hmm. from the memory log. Right hand, just to keep this kingdom Permitted safe. Himself to one Literally. <laughs> that pride will be your downfall, Ganondorf. So cool. <laughs> He's like, hope you don't have plans, Ganon. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. <laughs> Thousands of years will pass in the blink of an eye. You won't delay the inevitable. You're wrong. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. A swordsman with the power to defeat you, Link. Remember this name. Remember the name. <laughs> I don't know if in any of the other games if Ganon Ganondorf ever speaks Link's name. Mm hmm He does in Ocarina of Time. Does he? Oh yeah, he's yeah. like curse you, Link. Yeah. yeah, at the very end. And he might in Wind Waker too, but I can't remember. Mm-hmm. 
I also, it wasn't until like a week or two ago that I was like really thinking about it. Ganondorf's the Demon King, like, you know, and it's a Japanese game. Like, I always think about it, I'm like, why is he even doing all this? I'm like, because in, you know, Japanese culture, demons just do shit for whatever. Like, mm -hmm. he's just, he's trying to spread evil and chaos. <laughs> like, that's literally why he's got all these pigs and lizards and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know this tragedy as the Imprisoning War. Though it took all we were able to give, we succeeded in imprisoning the Demon King. But I was wounded in the process. My body was soon to expire. Well, then. That is when Zelda came to me, bearing a decayed and broken sword. Yes, you will recall how the Master Sword vanished from your hand at the Temple of Time. From there, it traveled into the distant past, appearing in Zelda's hands. And now you hold it once again. I wonder if we hadn't gotten the sword if she would tell us where it is. Right. Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Even someone like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then... What exactly are you suggesting we do with the sword? Over time, the Master Sword is able to absorb sacred power. It can heal itself, and even grow stronger. Curious. If we were able to empower it in that way, it could be the key to defeating the Demon King. But it could take centuries for that sword to grow strong enough. The power the Demon King wields... I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. I can think of one way. You mean... Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you, that act is forbidden for a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. <laughs> oh, Minoru. I love how her cloth is perpetually floating. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to change back. The moment I had the sword, I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came to this era. I... I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. You really have made up your mind? Very well then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I too will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. For the Swordsman Link, I will do everything I can. Even if my body should perish, I will still be with you in spirit. And then my body perished and she became a dragon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I told her not to. Right. <laughs> Afterwards, Zelda and I discussed strategy. We laid the groundwork for guiding you in the distant future. Well, then. Before the gloom's affliction took my life, I became a spirit and entered the Purapad. Then Zelda did what she felt she must and became the forbidden pro or began the forbidden <laughs> process. <laughs> I thought it said she became the Forbidden Princess. <laughs> she believed you would use the Master Sword to defeat the Demon King and restore peace to Hyrule. Uh -huh. You already have in hand the hope that Zelda left to you, the sword that seals the darkness, the Master Sword. Well, then. Go now, Link. With the Sword of Hope that Zelda left to you, you will surely smite Demon King Ganondorf. Surely! <laughs> Sweet. Val Miniru. Yeah. Cool stuff.
Cool stuff. So now we got a robot buddy following us around. Mm -hmm. Trail, Trail of, of the, the Master, Master Sword. Sword. We'll probably oh. check that out next. Complete. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I bet that's going to happen because we already got the sword. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go ahead and call it here, and then we'll check out, like, I don't know if, like, we got to talk to Pura or any of them and let them know that, like, we got Minoru. Yeah. Um, but we'll probably talk about some side questy stuff that we can do in between, and then we'll focus on that for the next yeah. few episodes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I see that you already wield the Master Sword Link. The Demon King is surely building his power somewhere in the world even now. Uh -huh. You hold the Sword of Hope, which Zelda left to you. The time of the final reckoning is close at hand. Let our combined might at least, or at last, defeat Demon King Ganondorf. Oh, at least defeat him. <laughs> I'll remain here to perfectly tune this construct body that I might need, or be ready for the confrontation. I've already sworn my pledge to you. Call upon me whenever you have need of my strength. Yeah. So I don't know if the robot above is her or an avatar, but she is going to be up above there. Yeah, I think it's her. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, thank you guys for watching, and we hope you'll join us next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one.